overview of has present a web-based presentation graphics and flash okay this is a very quick very fast overview of what it can do you just go to the spresent.com this is the website you can use any browser on any platform and first you have to sign up uh, to create an account so when you create presentations this the presentations will be stored on the website and you can just use your email address as the email account when you then you go back and you just sign up and I resize this window so, uh, so my right now I'm recording in the resolution 640 by 480 which is like old VGA resolution but you see because we use flash it's a scalable vector graphics so it, it, it fits even into this small screen so this is your first time with this present. Uh, the first thing you'll see after you log in is either create new presentation or open existing presentation. And you may ask, uh, I don't have open presentation. I don't have existing presentation if this is the first time, which is actually not exactly right because we already shared you some presentations. Uh, we share them to everybody. So once you sign up, you'll see some presentations already. So let's click on the open presentations and go to the folders shared to me you can double click or you just can use these buttons uh, like open and cancel and then you go to the folder shared to you called public and it has folder right now called presentations and you can see different presentations here and different folders like galleries and how to and quotes right now I'm going to open this presentation called as present so I just click open okay here's my sample presentation already okay let me just guide you a little bit uh, what do you see on the screen first on the top you see standard um, like menu items like you normally see on uh, windows applications then you can see this little toolbar these are the graphical items uh, that you can uh, click on and they'll do different things you see preview is the same as this one you can actually click on uh, preview and it will just play the whole presentation and um, then you can press escape to return, return back to the um, norm, normal editing mode on the left these are the tabs of different presentations if you want to rearrange them you just can click on this you can click on the slide and go to the slide directly or you just can rearrange them if you want to just drag it over here to the next one now you just change the order of the slides so let me just drag it back okay uh, on the at the bottom it's a properties panel we use this space here to show different properties of the objects for example if I click on this headline on the slide it shows me for this object that I have different properties position type transparency I can reload different style if I can click for example on this one it will show a little bit type of the animation for the headline so this is how you do it and this is different options you can have you see we have animated letters animated words and international headlines this tab shows you the properties of the slides you can just move slide up and down delete and other things and these are the properties for the whole presentations background navigation styles font colors autoplay and others you don't really see all of them here because um, it's kind of a little bit low resolution right i'm right now recording with okay um, on the right side you have the panel of objects you can drag those objects and add them to the presentation for example if i'll drag this uh, button over here I'll just drag it over here and it will ask me which one I'll just choose oval oval button so it will show me a button here so uh, another new thing here you see we have this tab steps allows you to uh, put objects over each other for example I put this button right now all of these text box and um, this tab allows me to allows me to pick it up and move it right over with another object without interfering with objects. If I want to move this te uh, this text box or this tab, I can easily pick one or another and move them around. There's also a size I can resize it, and I can also put it under the text box with these little arrows. You see it's right now under, or I can bring it back to the top. So this will this thing for, and this is X. Uh, can, uh, basically, it's delete, delete this object. 
Okay, this is how you do the basic um, navigation from slide to slide. You can use page up, page down to go from slide to slide. You just can click these tabs. And let me just play this presentation right now. I can click on this preview button or you just can click this word. And um, let me just play it. So if you start playing, you can use space to go from slide to slide. And you see it has, the presentation already has built-in animations. And um, you can use also use arrow keys and page up, page down. So that's like normal navigation that you have from slide to slide. This is pretty much what you can do right now to play the whole presentation. If you want to play this presentation pretty much a full screen, you can go in the browser to like view and most of the browsers have a full screen option. It's usually F11 functional key, but um, you can always click on the view and find this uh, full screen resolution also. Okay, so this is what you do to play uh, the presentation. You can also use this buttons at the bottom at the bottom so you can go from slide to slide or go to the first slide or go to the last slide just using this uh, little um, nav button so if you don't remember how to go to the previous slide just click on this button it will send you back to the previous slide okay um, so this is a simple presentation that gives you a good start and you can see we also have this animated clip arts because we use flash we have all these things flying and dancing so you may have a lot of fun doing that